Okay, rules. Okay, video tutorial how to remove a belt of a belt dry washer by Jetmac. Uh, here we go. So, first of all, belt guard. Belt guard is uh, basically just connected to the engine with three bolts. The belt guard is just really for safety, keep the fingers away from the belt and stuff. So, I have all these already loosened just to for the speed of the thing. You don't want to spend half your afternoon watching me <laughs> curse and blind, taking three nuts off. <laughs> Okay, so let's take that off. So that's your belt guard off. So that's you there. That's your belt. Two pulleys. So the next thing you need to loosen is four bolts here that hold the um, the pump to the frame via these two brackets. One bracket in the front, one bracket at the back. I have these already loosened. So the whole pump just lifts up like this. Just pull it off like that. Okay. So basically all you're left with is the small pulley, big pulley, belt, four holes for mounting the pump and the holes for the belt guard. So when you're putting it back on, okay, there's a few wee tips here you need to pay, pay close attention to because it caught me out a few times when I was uh, building my, my, first, my first belt machine about 400 years ago. Okay, so first of all, take your bolts out on like I have done. Okay, so we can see these teeth, so sometimes they don't sit fully down into the grooves here. So set it on roughly, okay? Put your bolts in. One. Two. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> Three. Four. Get your four nuts. These are usually lovely little serrated nuts that. Uh, Put into the steel and hold hold themselves lock into position. So tighten those up. Sort of not too tight, just because you'll need to be able to slide the pump just to put, put tension on the belt. So okay, so we'll have them sort of semi-tight there. Then you need your 13mm sockets. So first of all, tension. But when you're tension, make sure you don't, you, you, you got to pay attention as well to the alignment of these two pulleys. So you sort of keep them straight, see nice and straight, whereas if I pull that like that, see it's sort of towed in. So you want to keep it tight, but you want to keep it straight <coughs> in line. You might want to uh, <coughs> ask somebody for help, your brother or somebody, or somebody works with you or something, like the good old cameraman here can hold it while I tension it. So. It, it, it can be done. It can be done slow, slowly uh, if you do it by yourself. It is, it is possible to do it by yourself. But the, the big tip that I would tell you is at this at this point, and that is, even though the belt might seem tight, okay, you need to pull it over a few times. Sometimes what happens the belt hasn't sat down into the grooves and you might think it's tight you could put good all the hassle of putting the belt guard back on and you start the machine and the whole belt's flapping so give it a few pulls over make sure it's tight you should be able to pull the belt just just up 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 on its edge there about not 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 halfway but what would you say that is about 10 mil 5 10 mil okay so that's, that's nice and tight there. So I actually want it just slightly, slightly tighter than that. So if you're not happy with the tightness, you know, you gotta make sure you're happiness, happy with the tightness, but you don't want to go to the hassle of putting, putting all the belt guard back on and then realizing that it's not tight enough and you have to take it off. So there, look, that's nice and tight, yeah? So next thing you need to do is tighten these up really tight. Okay, make sure, make sure they're all really, really tight. Okay, so do that all the way around. Putting your belt guard back on. Okay, you have the three nuts. Okay, one, two, three. You need four of these as a spacer for the top ones, four each. One, two, three, four. Okay, and you need four of these smaller ones for the bottom one because it has to fit in in between here and the big ones don't fit so 
Easiest way to put it back on. It's the left holes you'll be using, the bigger holes. Easiest way to put it back on is just do that. Put your four in there. Do that. Put your four in there. Okay, so you see that? Slide it onto there. And now just tighten it in two or three turns. Then you can do the bottom one. Just let you get into here. Just put that into there. Pull that up so it lines up. Okay. And for the interest of speed, one of these little devices. finger in there go start your machine use it for four four minutes when the machine's turned off and make sure the machine's turned off don't put putting the finger in there because your finger will come out again <laughs> uh, make sure the machine's off and just you can feel in there it's still tight and that's all there is to it thanks folks